Jelly from pork knuckle turns out rich, meaty, thick and very tasty. A knuckle is a pork shin or forearm. For the jelly, I advise you to use the limb itself. Just trim the claws. Prepare all the necessary ingredients. If you use not only a knuckle, but also a radiator, then rinse it thoroughly. Remove the lower part with a hatchet. Peel the vegetables. Put a pork knuckle in a saucepan. Fill it with water to cover it slightly. Put it on fire, and bring to a boil. Then drain the water. Rinse the knuckle thoroughly. Fold the knuckle back into the pan. Put the whole onion and carrot, five, six cloves of garlic in the same place. I always put a lot of garlic. Then the taste of the jelly turns out to be very rich and bright. Also, a little garlic can be squeezed directly into the plates where you will pour the jelly. Fill the knuckle with water and put it on the fire. After boiling, reduce the heat to a minimum. Remove the foam from time to time. Cook the jelly for three hours. Then add salt. Add bay leaf and pepper. Cook for another one hour. Remove the meat from the jelly. Cool it. Strain the broth from garlic and other spices. Separate the meat from the bone. Remove the skins and fat. Chop the meat to taste. You can simply divide it into large fibers, as I did, or cut it into smaller pieces with a knife, or even pass it through a meat grinder. Cut the carrots into small cubes. It will not only complement the taste of jelly, but also serve as an ornament for it. Put the meat and carrots on the bottom of deep plates. Pour in the slightly cooled broth. Garnish with a sprig of parsley on top. Send the plates with the jelly to a cool place. The jelly from the pork knuckle will harden quickly enough after 2-3 hours, but I left it overnight. A thick layer of white fat formed on the surface of the jelly. Before serving it to the table, I advise you to remove it with a spoon. It's very easy to do. If you want to serve the jelly in a more original way, then lower the plate into hot water for a few minutes and turn it over on a flat plate. On top, decorate the jelly with herbs and viburnum berries. Serve the jelly with adjica or mustard. Eat with pleasure.